Hey guys, Tychondrius here again doing another video review and another toy review and this time it's for the 2016 WWE Mattel Zombies um, line. Now I'm not a big WWE fan so I don't really follow most of the um, characters or the wrestlers from it. I do know a few wrestlers, oh, he starts to falling over. Uh, this is one of the wrestlers I do recognise which is Triple H. Well, you won't recognise him like this but it's Triple H and uh, I'll just bring up the card back. So he's on a bubble card or a blister card with an image of the figure, uh, artwork of the figure on the side, name of the character on the right hand side, the WWE logo, then zombies on the back, on the underneath it. Then rotating around, you get the other figures in the line, and you get a little brief bio which says. Triple H zombified from his throne of bones. Triple H rules over the hordes of the undead as the Skull King, a name fully embodied by his new rotting for rotted form. Uh, top left hand corner, you have the little official WWE holograph kind of um, sticker, and then the other figures in the line, which I did see, was John Cena, The Rock, Undertaker, Brian Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, Page, and Roman Reigns. Out of all the figures, uh, the only one. That doesn't look like it got a completely redone sculpt for the character is Paige. She looks exactly like the old uh, wrestling figures I've seen of her, which were peg warming all over the place. And then it looks like they, all they did was gave her a slightly repainted head, uh, maybe a slight different hair sculpt. But as for body wise, they didn't really do anything. It's the same sort of standard buck that they use for the female wrestling figures. So getting on to the figure itself, um, articulation. He's on a kind of a ball joint to the shoulder, so he can move out, up, forwards and around, around, and he can rotate at the bicep. He has a single hinge elbow, which is hidden by the elbow um, or the elbow, elbow sleeve. He has a wrist swivel, but it can go forward and backwards on the wrist. He has a waist swivel, there's no upper crunch. Head is on a ball joint. Uh, the head sculpt is absolutely awesome. It's one of the th things why I picked up this figure. It just looks really, really cool. Uh, it is kind of a standard uh, T crotch for the uh, hips. So he doesn't. Have, he has forwards and back that much, but he doesn't have any out to the side. Then he has a single hinged elbow, again covered by the kind of guard, the uh, knee guard, and then he has a swivel uh, road um, a uppercut at the kind of uh, not ankle but the shin his shin rotation and then he has a ankle um he doesn't have any pivot but he has uh, ankle joint forward and back uh these were showcased at toy fair and most recently at san diego comic-con and they're just hitting the shelves over here at the moment they are quite pr pricey for the price point they're 20 21 sorry 22 euros each at the moment. Out of the all the other figures that I saw, The Undertaker was one of the best looking ones. He Again, The Undertaker normally looks like a, a zombie anyway, but they actually made him look really cool by uh, basically he has no skin from his forearm down. It's all just muscle and he has these kind of uh, lightning purple kind of magic, well I suppose magic effects that just clip on over the arms. But as you can see, they in really kind of outdid themselves with the sculpt on these uh, they look really cool uh, the figure stands about seven inch so i'm not sure what the standard kind of height for most wrestling figures are i have a few other ones that seem to come in at six inches and there were some of the diva figures but this guy stands about seven inches if i have anything to hand that i can measure him up with bear with me a moment and see if i can get a I have my NECA Pred alien figure. As you can see, he stands, towers over him a bit, but he's about the same height as one of the NECA human figures, so he would work quite well with a kind of crossover. In fact, he would possibly look quite good with a crossover with the new Ash from Ash vs. the Evil Dead figures that are going to be coming out from um, NECA, I think, somewhere near the end of the year. But he's a really cool looking figure. And I do recommend getting some of the other figures in the line. The John Cena one. Actually, the Dean Ambrose figure was quite interesting as well because he actually has a removable 
wrist uh, so he has like a bit of his bone sticking out from midway through his wrist and you can just pull it off as if to simulate his hand is being cut off but oh and uh, I nearly forgot one of the things about this guy is you have a removable crown so he can actually display him without the skull mask you could if you wanted to remove the shin guards and the elbow guards and probably repaint the waist or get some sort of cloak type thing to throw over him and he'd look like just a generic sort of zombie uh, although you would have to repaint the Triple H logos on the kind of on the waist part but other than that he, he could work as a kind of generic zombie but there you go guys so that's a quick video review hope you enjoyed it um, as I said click uh, if you like the video click like if you want to comment feel free to comment and as always if you want to subscribe to the video or to my channel please feel free to subscribe to the channel as well so there you go guys just a quick video review for these uh, this new WWE figure I might get a few more of them and do video reviews for the others as I get a chance to pick them up um, but uh, the other wave of figures I'm really interested in picking up which look really cool are the I think they're the mutant uh, WWE figures they're only showcased at um, Toy Fair and San Diego Comic Con recently but there's, I don't think there's any details on when they're being released but there's a few interesting looking figures in that so there you go guys quick video review hope you enjoyed it and hope you liked the video so there you go cheers